guys, it's Tammy in my world in OKC. I am going to attempt to make a pocket letter. And I'm going to be using one of the fans from the Dollar Tree. And this is the fan you saw in my haul that I got. And what I did is I took the bottom that hold it that holds it together. I took it apart. Okay. And what I did is I glued down the first one together because I want the pretty edge. You know, just I'm not sure what it ends going to end up on the outside, but if it's this, I want it to be pretty on both sides. So I did glue the first one down to each other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to hot glue this first one. And see, when I get it all done and glued, you know, it should kind of look like that. And then you can put, you know, stickers or little cards or embellishments and cards or whatever you want in there. And it's, I thought it would be a really pretty way to, you know, give somebody some, a pocket letter. So I am going to glue this down. And I thought this might be the pretty end that I would show, but I'm actually going to leave it the fabric side, I think. And I've never made this before, so it could be an epic fail, but we shall see. This I didn't get the glue down fast enough, so I'm just going to squirt a little more in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to take these and glue them together where they look pretty. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I live in Oklahoma, and the black ants are so bad this year. I mean, I don't leave anything out, and the ants are everywhere. But I saw a little ant crawling right here, so I had to get him. So I'm going to figure out a way to glue these all on top of each other, and I'll probably cover this with a ribbon, but I'm going to go ahead and start gluing and get that glued together. Okay guys, I got this glued down pretty good, how I want it, and I just kind of glued some of the pieces together, you know, best I could, and I think I'm going to add a little more glue right here, it looks like it come up. I swear the glue gun hates me. And I want it to kind of stay open like that. And I think, um, maybe I'll do a little more glue right here. Don't worry about it being a big glue mess down here because you're going to hide it with a ribbon anyway. And I think, I think I will leave it like that. And then, I'm not sure what color ribbon I'll end up putting on here, but just for the demo's sake, I'm just going to use this orange, I think, for now. Just going to cut a strip of that and get it wrapped. And I'll probably go back with a thicker ribbon just so it hides it. Let's hot glue it. And then just hot glue and wrap, you know, ever how far you want it around.
And then I think I'm going to take another piece of ribbon for a bow. And I think that kind of looks like a back because that's where the finished pieces of the ribbon are. So I think I'll use this as the front. And you could probably use anything you wanted down here, you know, for the ribbon. Um, like I said, this is the first pocket letter I've ever made. So, it's just an idea. Thought it might come out, wasn't sure. Try to get my bow a little better. And I'll have to get the bow different. I don't want to spend five hours trying to get the bow just right while you guys are waiting and waiting. But that will be the pocket letter. Oops, sorry, I'm kind of getting it way far away. And then you can put stickers and stuff in it. And I think it's kind of cute. Okay, I went and grabbed just a few sticker items and stuff. But this ain't going to be the final for me. This just gives you guys an idea of, you know, what all could fit or how big. You could put those in there. See, but it's going to hold a lot. And there's a lot more room in there. But my first pocket letter ever. And... Sorry, it's upside down. I got you guys in the cupboard. But I thought that was an easy little craft. And I'll probably switch this out to a pink ribbon. Or maybe this blue. Or maybe gold. I don't know. But it gives you guys an idea. So you guys can make yours. Why they still have these fans at the Dollar Tree. And you can get them. So let me know if you make one. Um, people that are more into making pocket letters can probably do a better job. But... I just thought it was a cute idea and just wanted to share it so the people who do make a lot of pocket letters could get out and get the fans and make your own. So, hope you enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. And like and share. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.